Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Flawless Platinum here on the channel. I am the new Massacre and in the last one we made it here to Orberg City and met Rourke in the mines. We also lost a very near and dear companion to us, which kind of sucks, but in this one we're going to get revenge and we're going to take on this gym. But first we're going to do a bit of a team recap, you guys can see on the layout uh, right here, uh, well, all, like, uh, just all over here, uh, I have added pictures of our party members, because, you know, some people like to remind me in the comments when I don't do that shit, and yeah, I realized it, thank you very much, Craven. But, we do have pictures, they don't look great, because I'm not super great at layouts, but, uh, of course, that is the discussion of today's video, what is my best layout, and how can I improve in a way that's not get a new editing system because I is broke as F as F okay we're gonna go into the uh, am I even uh, what's 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 going on here okay I'm I'm still clicked into my thing so now I'm not and I can actually go into my game yay well, we've got our starter of course Sammy Zayn the turd leg uh, grass type, quirky nature, with overgrow, rocking tackle, withdraw, absorb, and razor leaf. I'm actually going to move razor leaf to the front, because that is what we're going to be killing bitches with. Look at that powerful 26 attack stat. We've got Bailey. She's a hugger. Those arms outstretched. She's our Manaphy, water type, uh, level 13, gentle nature, because of course, uh, a little quick-tempered. Could have fooled me at Extreme Rules uh, with Hydration, which is great. Uh, those stats just all around are awesome. With uh, Tail Glow, Bubble Water, Sport, and Charm. Because Tail Glow. Naomi the Shing, still here to make you feel the glow. Uh, quiet Nature. Okay. Uh, electric type level 10. With Guts. Damn straight, she does. With Tackle, Leer, and Charge. Naomi, not doing too great, but we've seen how great uh, a Luxray can be. We'll, we'll work on that. And then Charlotte, the Aeron. Uh, Steel Rock type, level 8, holding the Lucky Egg, so we can maybe start boosting her, uh, her shit just a little bit. Uh, Impish Nature with Sturdy. I don't think this is the good kind of Sturdy. Uh, with Tackle, Harden, and Mud Slap. I really, really hope we don't have to use Mud Slap in this because our special attack is dirt. But we're going to lead with Sami Zayn. We'll tag out into Bailey if we have to. Alright. The following match is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Orberg City Gym Badge. First, we're going to take on these bitches. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Well, it's because I have a mana theme, my dude. Youngster Jonathan is here with an Aeron. Level 9. I think I'm going to be just on par for the gym leader. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. Aeron is one of the few Pokemon that a Turtwig can outspeed. Oh, going for the Harden. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I'm still gonna go for Razor Leaf because it's got a high critical hit chance, and that will ignore any and all defense drops. So, let's keep going for that. If I had, like, a Razor Claw or something to give you, I would. Mud Slap, that is gonna lower my accuracy. Is going to lower my accuracy, and Razor Leaf already starts off with a 95% accuracy. I'm actually going to go for Absorb. It's still super effective, it should kill, and it should get me that one point of HP back. So, alright, we're not doing too bad. 184 experience, it's about half a level. The Leap is coming in. Uh, I believe you are Bug Rock? So I'm going to go out into Bailey. Really, I should be leading with Bailey. 
because I should be able to get up tail glows and just run house. Uh, I'm gonna go for a tail glow. I do have speed, which is a good thing. I don't think this Lilith can really. Okay, it's gonna constrict. Um, <laughs> yeah, that does nothing. I'm gonna set up a second tail glow, and then I'm going to just see if Bubble runs house through steam. It should. Astonish. Man, that's not even stab. All right, fair enough. Good job, Bailey. Good job, Bailey. Is about to send in Geo, bro. Well, you are. You are quad weak to this shit. The problem is, you're a Geo, bro, and you're going to fucking have sturdy, no? You get a Geo dude without sturdy. I under oh, I understand now why I'm battling you. It's because you suck. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. I mean, yeah, by by default, my dude. Youngster Darius. Youngster Darius and his Bonsly. So how do you guys pronounce it? Bonsly or Bonsly? I always pronounced it Bonsly. Man, if that's not the one thing, like, everybody has different pronunciations of different Pokemon. And, uh, some of them are right and some of them are wrong. And if you pronounce it Rayquaza, you're wrong. It is Rayquaza. It's like a Quasar. There's a fuck. I hate people who pronounce it Rayquaza. Alright, let's blow this Rhyhorn back. 259 experience? That should take me about halfway to 15? Yeah, a little bit- a little bit past halfway, actually. Anorith? That's also Buck Rock, isn't it? I don't know if this thing's gonna have Giga Drain, though, that's the thing. Oh, okay, so what are the chances of it having a bug move? Anorith? This early? Honestly, not very big. I'm gonna stay in with Sammy. I'm gonna stay in with Sammy, actually. Anorith. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. Harden? Harden I can do. You avoided my Razor Leaf. That's a free Harden that thing just got off. Scratch? Alright. That's fine. Uh, it's neutral. Fuck. Uh, let's go for Absorb. Let's go for Absorb, because you're going to continue to Harden. And I don't want to be here forever. And I do like the fact that we're... Mudsport? You weakened electricity? You're a rock-type gym, my dude. I'm not gonna use electric-type Pokemon against you. I mean, okay, granted, I have a Shinx in the party, but... Shinx ain't coming out. You know what? You know what I just realized? I probably should've led with my lower-level Pokemon and then swapped out. <sighs> Shit. Should I do that for the gym leaders? Should we get a little real? A little risky? Should we risk it for the biscuit? It is kind of humiliating, you're right. My- none of my Pokémon are- well, Bailey is injured by three. I'm- this is gonna be a risky biscuit play. I'm gonna send Charlotte out first, and then I'm going to switch out to Bailey, get the tail glows up, and... Uh, we're gonna- we're gonna do what it do. Uh, is there a reason why none of my Pokémon are holding the Quick Claw? Uh... Let me- let me just take a look at something. Okay, so obviously Charlotte has, like, little to no speed. Uh... A part of me kinda wants to put it on Sami Zayn, 
because his, his speed is absolute booty cheeks. <laughs> like, Naomi's attack is higher than his speed. I'm gonna put it on Sami Zayn. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded this, actually, so I'm looking at, like, Yellow Shard, Heart Scale, Tiny Mushroom... Uh, we got ten potions, a super potion, five antidotes, paralyzed heal. We got a dusk ball, my dude. Uh, so I think we're good on potions. I can heal up Bailey if I need to. All right, guys, let's ride. Do not remember what I gave this guy, so just gonna have to deal with it. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Well, my dude, you are going to see it. Leader Rourke, with four Pokemon, he's going to start off with an Omanyte. Uh, I'd actually be kind of stupid if I sent in Bailey right now, because I have a perfectly good Sami Zayn. You're a water rock type, so... I mean, this is gonna completely destroy you. I actually want to see how much uh, an Absorb does. Because you are quad weak to it. I know our special attack is terrible. But that still does a lot of fucking damage. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Absorb again. That high roll. He's gonna use a potion, and to be honest, I'm glad that he is using a potion. Use it on this Pokémon, because I don't want you using it on later Pokémon. And we get a crit. Sami Zayn with the Huluva Absorb. Charlotte growing to level 9. Perfect. Okay. It's about to send in Larvitar. Dark, Rock type, or Rock Ground type. I think the reason why I get Tyranitar mixed up as a Ground Rock type is because Larvitar and Pupitar are. So here's the thing I'm going to switch out to Charlotte. And then I'm going to send in Bailey. Level 14! Wait! Hold on! Hold on, why is this, like... Go for a ground-type move, please. He's going for Screech. Our stats are still, like, fucking godlike. And we do outspeed. So as long as I can live this shot, a bubble should take out the Larvitar. Rock 2. We're resisted, right? Oh, and that lowers my speed, too. I should be able to live another one. And I, I still outspeed. I still outspeed. That's a plus two. That's a plus two mana fee. Fuck the bubble, because bubble's a shitty move. But that's a plus two mana fee. Kabooty? Um... Once again, you're a water rock type, so... Uh, right? You are a water rock type, right? I think you are. So, let's go out into Charlotte. I think that he's sending out the Kabuto... Uh, because it can have Absorb? I think Kabuto gets Absorb, like, instantly. Level 14, that... Really? Oh, really? We, we gonna do this? Harden? Oh, I hope. I hope. Catch this shit. You gonna set up stealth rocks on me now. You gonna set up stealth rocks on me now. Who says I'm switching out? Granados. I'm gonna stay in, but... Oh no! 
Well, I think that you're, uh... Rock... something? Because you're still a fossil Pokémon, right? So you have to be a rock type. Well, it's a rock type gym. What am I fucking talking about? You have to be a rock type. That 14 was your ace. Um. Yeah, okay. Get blown back. Perfect. And. I'm pretty sure that also gives us a grotto. Pretty sure. No? 18, maybe? Okay. Man, this is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. We are truly a champion of District 12. All of the Hunger Games fans got that. Everybody else, whoo! Having the Cold Badge means that your Pokémon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this, too. TM-76 Rock Tomb? Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. <laughs> Yo, should I run rocks? Should I run rocks on, uh, Charlotte? That would be kind of wild. I don't think I'm gonna do that, though. Um, where's the the center? There we go. So we went out of there relatively unscathed. I mean, Bailey took a rock tomb like a champion with minus two physical defense. Um, but other than that, man, we're we're pretty good. Uh, and now I guess we just move on? Warburg City, City of Energy. Uh, Route 207. Did I get an encounter here? I forget. <laughs> Oops. I legitimately forget. Be right back. And we're back. Unless I'm missing something, we have not gotten an encounter up here. I did not see us get an encounter here throughout the entire episode. I went back and watched it. So, I'm gonna get an encounter here. If I am wrong, please timestamp me, and that member, that team member, will no longer be legal and will be released immediately. No matter what it is. That being said, I took this opportunity to put uh, that right there, the coal badge. So it's there, and we are one eighth of our way. So our first encounter here is a Ponita. I'm very, very happy to have a Ponita. Uh, let's go for a tackle. I'm, I'm sure now with the growl it can survive probably a couple of tackles to be honest. I... Flame body? Really? I just realized I'm a steel type. <laughs> I just realized I'm a steel type. Let's go out into Naomi. gonna growl me, uh, once again, I'm pretty sure that I can have it- Really? What are the chances of Flame Body? Okay, I'm gonna go for, well, like, one more tackle, and then I'm going to switch out into Bailey. Yeah, I'm not hitting you. And I'm going to try and catch this Ponita. And I'm going to name this Ponita after, once again, a WWE superstar, a male star that I believe uh, has some fire music. 
As a newborn, it can barely stand. However, through galloping, its legs are made tougher and faster. Well, newly put uh, on 205 Live and has an incredibly fire entrance. I would have named it Becky Lynch, don't worry, but it's not a female. I'm going to name it TJP. My favorite of the cruiserweights, actually. Don't get me wrong, I love seeing Neville and, um... Neville and... What the fuck is his name? Brian Kendrick. I literally had his face in mine. I love seeing Neville and Brian Kendrick, but... I mean, I love TJP more, what can I say? Uh, okay, so... Uh, everybody's at 10, except for TJP, so I'm gonna take the lucky egg off of you, and I'm gonna give it to TJ. Give it to TJP. Charlotte, I'm gonna give you the hard stone back, just because I feel like your first rock-type move is close. I would have given you rock tomb had they given me rock tomb, but no. They decided to give me an infinitely shittier move for single player. Ah, a Machop. Machop would have been nice, but I do like having the coverage, because right now, we don't really have anything for grass types, and TJP? I mean, TJP is pretty good for the grass types, though. Uh, what do I want to send up against you? Because I do kind of want to fight this Machop for the experience. He's low kicking me, but I'm actually pretty light as a Pokemon. Focus energy is not going to do anything because I'll take you down beforehand. Perfect. Um, we have a Pokeball here as a hidden item, which is great. And we have a Pokeball here as a non hidden item. So I realized something, I'm holding the B button to, um... Wow, and that's with the Lucky Egg? Machop doesn't give a shit ton of experience, does he? Um... I'm holding the B button to make the bike go faster, even though that is literally never how any bike has worked. Actually, what it does is it switches gears. So if I do that, it is now the Acrobike, right? It's, uh, much easier to steer, but doesn't go as fast. So I can't actually go up here. But if I switch to the Mach, I can go up here. But I can't use Cut. So we actually cannot go that way. Forgive me, it's been a hot minute since I have played Platinum, so I'm not necessarily sure where to go. Oh. Thud? Well, it's you Lee, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternal City is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City, next top, Eternal City badge. Ten seconds before I dash, nine. Ah, who's got time to count? You gotta go fast! Uh, yeah, actually, it was Craven that was like, your CM Punk voice reminds me of, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I was like, you're right. Uh, let's get the fuck out of Dodge, cause you, I can go up here. It's a rugged, oh, fuck, do none of my Pokemon know Rock Smash? I mean, I can see why I wouldn't give them Rock Smash, it's a terrible move. Hold on. Power 60? I'm pretty sure Rock Smash only had a power of 20. Did they boost the power of Rock Smash in this game? Cause I'm... super happy about that. Charlotte? Uh, can you go ahead and naturally select this rock here? Uh, okay. We're gonna fight the Sand Shrew, which means we're gonna get the fuck out. 
Uh, uh, oh, okay, so I don't think we can fully explore this place just yet. But, I would like to get some stuff here. This, by the way, does not count as a separate area, it's still the same cave. Even though there are much stronger Pokémon! Holy shit! I'm gonna go out into Sammy, and I'm going to Razor Leaf the shit out of that thing. Um, I'm staying on the bike, because I'm pretty sure there are places where you need to uh, have the mock bike. Yeah, TJP! TM70 Flash! So, yeah, you see, you, you need uh, Surf in order to get fully past this place. But, there are certain things you can get. Like this dude. Uh, now, you don't want to go too fast, because then you won't be able to get that item. Uh, I'm gonna send in Bailey. Oh god, why did I do that? <laughs> Sorry, Onyx, that was overkill. Uh, Onyx does give a good amount of XP, though. And that's a big pearl. Ooh, that's worth three grand, I believe, if you sell it. You see those bumps on the ground? It feels awesome taking those fast on a bicycle. So, here is what he means. I'm currently on the acro bike. Oh, uh, that's an R on. I wonder how many, how, how many experience that gives. Uh, you can harden all you fucking want. I am a Manaphy. I mean, that gives a pretty good amount of experience as well. I'm going to give Bailey a potion. Uh, I'm on the acro bike, so if I were to take this bum, fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. By the way, I apologize that I am actually doing these rando battles, but... It's good experience for TJ. So, before I take... I'm gonna see if I can just get out, thank you. Before I take this jump, I'm going to turn this into the mock bike. And now here's the thing, I want to stop for a second because there could be hidden items around here. Yeah, no, you're- wow, did I actually miss? That was- that's lucky for him. TJP learned Ember, I like it. Um... Shit, would you just not? Really, I should be using, um, Sami Zayn more because he has Absorb. But the only reason I'm not is because he's kind of up there in levels right now. I don't mind too much using the, uh, using the potions because we do have that big pearl. Okay, there are no... that's interesting. Oh, the default is Acro. Okay. Uh, against the Whoopers, I will send out Sami Zayn, mostly because I know that an Absorb... Oh, really? Ha ah, Quick left hops. Oh my god, this is the only thing that kind of sucks, is that if I get into a battle, that slows my momentum right down. Come on, just take out the Cubone. Hey! And we got TM31 Brick Break. That is a fighting type move that will eliminate Reflect and, um, Reflect and Light Screen. What is with these Geodudes and not having Sturdy? Okay. And Jump It. We can now... Okay, this I worry about. Oh my god. It's like they don't- it's like none of the Mons have their good moves. 
or their good abilities, sorry. Um, I worry about this because you can have Mud Slap, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with this. Yeah, you have Mud Slap. But you are a Steel type, and I could have Embered you. Let's go ahead and Rock Smash. Uh, at this point, I can outspeed mostly everything. And I'm gonna come out here to Route 203. I just kinda wanna get back to the center. Mm. Oh, it's... Look at... Tell me, have you not obtained a bell pad? Is not a bell pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, there seems to be no one shady in this Jubilife city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Fair enough, looker, you majestic fucking man. Let's go ahead and heal up. And... I think in the next episode... We're going to start heading to... Where was it that he said? Uh, first off, let's go ahead and sell this big pearl. $37.50. I like the sound of that. We're gonna top up on some potions. Uh, how many does four of these cost? That's fine. Pokeballs! We're fine on Pokeballs. Uh, we're fine on pretty much everything, actually. Let's find out the direction that we have to go, and then we'll end this episode off. Is it up? Oh! It is definitely up. So we're going to see what's up with them, uh, in the next episode. But if you guys like this episode, find me with that like button, your bitch, and follow me on Twitter at Time for a Massacre. That's a numerical for. It's linked in the description below. Don't forget to do... Yeah. Don't forget to participate in the discussion for today's video, which is what has been my best layout. An optional second question, what can I do to change and improve my layouts? But until then, I am the Medieval Massacre, and that's the 4